What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday. Today, we're looking at one of the decks that have been requested kind of a lot, which is the Silgore Wabafet. And we're going to see why people are requesting this and why it's such a cool and unique deck that we really haven't seen that much in Expanded. Now, we have two kind of main Pokemon to focus on. This is Silgore and Wabafet. So, the first one we're going to look at is a Silgore. So, a Silgore has the attack deck and cover. It only does 50 damage, but the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned. Shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. Now, when a Pokemon is paralyzed, they cannot attack, they cannot retreat, blah, blah, blah. But your opponent can use Switch, Escape Rope, AZ, uh, Cassius, Pokemon Center Lady. They can also use Pokemon like Zor, Keldeo, uh, maybe Vrizian Genesect. And these cards can get rid of paralyzation, but we're going to try to stop that with Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet has the ability by Barricade. Now, it expanded one of the biggest cards is Caldeo. Caldeo X gives the ability to rush in and retreat at any moment, but by, by Barricade shuts down all abilities except for Psychic Pokemon. So that does shut down Caldeo. So now your opponent can't rush in and retreat, which is really, really nice. And the good thing about this is a lot of people, they don't play cards like Escape Room. They don't play cards like Switch. They don't they don't play these cards. All they play is Caldeo. They, they rely on this. They might play like Flowstone or AZ, but your opponent will have to constantly uh, hit AZs and VS Seeker over and over again to continue this chain to get out of this paralyzation. So this is really, really neat, and this is why the deck is so strong. Um, some other cards like this, some people do play a Cellular Tremnant, which is down uh, item cards. Um, I don't know if that's as strong. You can shut down item cards so they can't play like Switch and stuff like that. And when they do play that Kyoto, you can license her up. But that's a different deck. We're not going to worry about that today. Today, we're just going to focus on the Subwar Wabafet deck. All right. So another card that we play in here is Mew EX. Mew has the ability Versatile. This Pokemon can use attacks of any Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponent's, but you need the necessary energy. So what we're going to do is sometimes is use Versatile, uh, copy of Subwar's deck cover, and use it that way. Um, this deck is so it's so versatile because you have... Oh, that, was, that was lame. Uh, but you can, use, you can either attack with Psychic or Grass to be the situation and kind of knock out Pokemon that way to make sure you hit the numbers. Now, while playing this deck, one thing you want to keep in mind is you want the Pokemon to get knocked back out coming into your turn. So this this math is it's sometimes hard with this deck because you need to make sure you hit Poison. Uh, that ten damage that ten damage matters. We play with Silvering, which can make it do thirty more damage. Uh, Silvering does thirty more damage. Uh, so you have to be careful with your math. You want the Pokemon to come back into your turn, get knocked out, so that way your opponent can never attack, which is really, really nice. Now, the next play is 2-2 uh, Muna Marsharna line. Uh, Muna has the ability of long distance hypnosis. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. If it tells your opponent's, you, if it tells your active Pokemon is now asleep. Um, so we're not really using Muna here. The main thing we're using is Musharna. Musharna has the ability to forewarn. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one of them, and put it into your hand. Put the other card back on top of your deck. Now, this is going to help you dig. This is going to help you get the DCs and subcores, especially when it's late game, and you only have like three cards left in your deck. You can forewarn to see the top two. Grab the DC you need and get that deck cover, which is really, really nice. A motorcycle just drove by. And also, we play two Shaman as well to help set up. Now, some people are saying, why are you playing Shaman? You play Wobbuffet, which shuts down Shaman's abilities. Well, obviously, we're going to use Shaman when Wobbuffet's not in the Axe spot. We're going to use it when the Stalker's in the, act, in the Axe spot instead. To help us draw more cards if needed. It, we only play two. You could maybe even cut down to one. Uh, but right now, we're playing two. All right. So, also, another thing, Wobbuffet, like I said, it does shut down Shaman, which is really nice. It shuts down Archeops. It shuts down uh, Jirachi. So this card is really, really good. And that's what we love. That's why I love Wobbuffet so much. So that's all the Pokemon in the deck. It is 20 Pokemon. It is a lot, but it's still really cool. So one computer search for consistency. Get any card out of your deck. Four Love Ball to search deck for Pokemon with 90 HP or less. And four Ultra Ball. Now this is going to help you continue the stream of getting a Selgors. And because if you miss a beat of a Selgor, you're pretty much going to lose. So every turn, you have to get a new Selgor. You have to keep going. So that's why I play a 4-4 four, four Selgor line, 4-4 four, four, four Love Ball, and 4 Ultra Ball. We also play 1 Super Rod, Shuffle, and 3 combination of Pokemon and basic energies. You could maybe play Sacred Ash if you want to, to shuffle in 5 Pokemon. But at that point, you might not want to shuffle in some Pokemon. Like, you might already have, like, a 1-1 one, one Masharna line in your discard pile. Or maybe, like, a Masharna. You already have a Masharna out in the field. So you really don't need the Masharna back into your deck. So it's weird with Super Rod and Sacred Ash. You also you always have to, like, decide which one you want. I think Super Rod is fine because with Super Rod, you're just shuffling back into Cell Gorsh and Shuffles for the most part. 
one tool scrapper get any tools off the field. Now, this is mainly for uh, fighting freeball. It does give Pokemon 40 more HP, so it does make the math a little bit weird. But what you could do is really neat. You can make it where Dark Rider, or whoever has fighting freeball, I just say Dark Rider because Dark Rider is one of the big decks that display fighting freebells. But if your opponent has a Pokemon that has uh, more damage on them than they do HP wise, like we have 190 on them, or 210 on them. 210 is a realistic, or I think it's a number you can hit with this deck. So 210, your opponent has 210 on their active Pokemon. They have 220 HP. You can then play Toe Scrapper to get rid of that. Um, of the Fighting Fruit, they get knocked out during their turn. And then you can deck cover again, which is really, really nice. And that's why Toe Scrapper's in here. And I was, you know, just give it like Muscle Bands or whatever as well, which is really cool. Also, Life Dew, it can be really important if you Toe Scrapper Life Dew away. So 4 via Seeker to get any supporter card out of your discard pile. Now, one card I was kind of contemplating playing is Trainer's Mail. But I couldn't really see how I could fit 4 Trainer's Mail in here. There's so much in this deck already. You can maybe cut like a Toe Scrapper, um... Maybe the AZ, maybe the Zerosic if you want to play Train as well, but it's not really not really needed because you play so many Love Balls and Ultra Balls in this deck. So we play one AZ, put one Pokemon into your hand. This is just in case your opponent likes to do somebody's up and you don't have a full stone to retreat them or a DCE. Two cores because we're going to have a full bench. You shuffle your hand in the deck and draw a number of cards equal to another bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. Two Lysander, three and four Juniper, and one Zerosic. The Zerosic is mainly in here for, I think, in my opinion, Giratina. Because Giratina, if Giratina starts Chaos Willing you, you're pretty much going to lose the game because now you can't touch any special energy. I think if Giratina just starts swinging, you're pretty much in trouble regardless. So if you see a Giratina come down, you need to immediately try to Lysander and start deck and cover. If you can get that off before your opponent starts to use Chaos Will, you're going to be okay. Uh, once again, your opponent may play like Super Scoopos to put it back into their hand. Uh, maybe AZ, but then that's okay because then they got rid of those energies. Uh, they got rid of that energy attachment for the turn, which is really nice. Alright, so three Tropical Beach. You could, okay, so let's go with Tropical Beach first. You draw, you have seven cards in your hand, and your turn ends. Um, it's a really good card, and helps you set up, but what you could play is Verbic City Gym. Let me look up Verbic City Gym real quick. If you don't have Tropical Beach, this is a fine replacement, I'm pretty sure. Um, you put two more damage counters on a Pokemon in between turns instead of one, uh, which is, so now you're doing three instead of one, which is pretty nice, and that's why Verbic's in here, or it could be in here. If you want to, I personally don't like it. It doesn't really help out the math too much, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I don't know. It doesn't help you hit like, crazy numbers. Um, so that's why it's not here. I like Tropical Beach instead to get that turn one set up, to draw more cards, to make you guarantee that turn two a sucker, which is what we need. Uh, three Flowstone to give your Pokemon free retreat, like Wobbuffet, uh, maybe Masharna. Two Silver Bringle, so you do 30 more damage. That damage does matter sometimes, I promise. You'll find out while playing the deck. Uh, like a Selgor. You can do, uh, let's see. So let's, let's look at Silver real quick. I'll give you a situation where Silver Banger does matter. So Silver, you use Dead Cover, 50, Poison, 60, back to your turn, 70, right? You do this twice, 140, which is not enough for a knockout. You then Dead Cover, they're knocked out. So that's not good. The way you can do is you can Dead Cover for 50. Um, so 50, you can do hit for deck, for Silver Banger, which is 80. Poison, 90. Uh, so they're up, they're hit 90 that turn, right? All right, so up to 90. Back into our turn, they hit for 100. We can then deck and cover without a silver angle to bring them up to 50, uh, plus poison 60, back into your turn, 170, which is a knockout. So that's pretty cool. And you can see how silver, uh, silver angle math does work sometimes. Um, and then sometimes you can hit for, weakness, for resistance or weakness of Mew. This can make things different as well. You can hit for weakness of Wobbuffet, which can make the, or Selgo, which can make things different as well. Because then you can hit for deck cover for 100. Come back into your turn, or for 110, back to your turn, 120, and they have 100 HP. You can then hit for Mew. Uh, five, six, seven. No, that's too many. I don't know. I know I, I messed up there. But you can see, like, the math does matter. You're still okay if the Pokemon does get knocked out, come back into their turn. Uh, you're still going to be okay. But you want to come back into your turn. I mean, you can sacrifice Wobbuffet, so you do play four of these, which is pretty fine. And you're okay. Uh, you can actually just, like, sometimes let a Pokemon die, set up Wobbuffet, and let them knock out that Wobbuffet without the Flowstone, which is pretty cool as well. So I'm going to stop ranting. I'm, I'm, I'm done ranting uh, about this deck. Uh, but it's a really fun deck. Test it out if you haven't tested it before. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. All right, you're putting against Husky 16, playing a Dark fighting water in a colors deck and let's see what is the coin flip going to be do we win it and we won the coin flip which is great maybe we get some shelmets down uh and we'll see what happens okay so in our turn what do we get all right there's a wobbuffet marshana love ball okay so we got the wobbuffet uh outside of that really don't have that great of a hand so we're gonna put set price cards out there's a jirachi we top deck a juniper all right so i'm a love ball and with the love ball, we will grab, <coughs> we'll grab a shelmet. 
Okay. We will Ultra Ball discard a Shelmet or discard an Ultra Ball and maybe a Marsharna. We have Super Ross. We get these back. So let's discard a, a Selgor. That seems okay. We'll discard the Selgor. <laughs> we'll grab a Muna. Okay. So yeah, let's get the Muna. We'll put both these guys down. Put down the Shelmet. Put down the Muna. And the question is, do we attach Silver Bang or not? Uh, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, the Draji having like 90 HP is weird. So I'm just going to Silver Bang with this guy. I'm just going to Juniper regardless. Going to discard a hand. Draw in seven new cards. And let's see, there's a Flowstone, Wobbuffet DC. So we'll put down the Flowstone. Well, uh, yeah, we'll put down Flowstone. We will Love Ball for another Shelmet. And we will Tropical Beach for a new hand. So let's put down Shelmet. And yeah, let's just put let's put down Tropical Beach. Let's just go for it. So we'll draw 40 cards. Okay, so Wobbuffet Star. Pretty good. We have a Mew as well if we want to attack with that next turn. We get a Selgar down. So let's see if we attack with Mew. Uh, Mew can do Duck and Cover for 30 because he has Resistance. So 3, 4... Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, still weird. Okay, so it looks like he's playing a Maxis. Yeah, an Archaeops Glade deck. Now we do have Wobbuffet, which can counter his Maxis and his Glade. So I'm not too concerned about that. Computers just discarding a Dark and an Ultra Ball. And let's see what my opponent decides to get out of. He can't use like Caldeo. He can't use uh, uh, uh Shaman. There's a Hoopa, which he can use because it is Psychic. A uh, Wobbuffet shows down everybody but Psychic Pokemon. So we're gonna see Scoundrel. We're gonna search for three EX Pokemon. That's Evil Tall, Dark Eye, and a Caldeo. Alrighty. And uh, the, the the scary thing is definitely Lysander. If he plays multiple Lysanders, he can get around our Wobbuffet. Uh, dark Patch, pretty good Dark Energy. Oh, to the Evital, okay. Dark Energy on the Evital. And there's a VS Seeker for a Maxis to get out. I wonder what he'll decide to get out. Will he get out the Gallade or the Archaeops? He's going to get the Archaeops to shut down our evolutions, but uh, that doesn't matter too much. Flowstone, going to the Jirachi, he can retreat into the Evital. And uh, 204060, which is not enough for Knockout. And uh, he needs a Lysander for following turn. There's a Dark Patch, which is still not enough for a knockout. There's a Train Good look at the top four cards of his deck. He's already played a Maxi, so there's an Ultra Ball. He can maybe discard another Dark Energy if he wants to. Uh, let's see what our opponent decides to do here. Um, but we're still pretty, we're still sitting pretty great next turn. Uh, we can get out a Masharno. We can get out a Shelmet. There's an Ultra Ball discarding a VS Seeker and an Evital. Looks like they're not going to get nothing. And just probably reach for a new hand of seven. All right, so on our turn, what do we get? We get a Love Ball, okay. So, <clears throat> I'm going to Love Ball. Grab a Shelmet. We'll put the Shelmet down the field. Uh, we'll put a DCE, a Selgor. Um, do we go for a... No, I'm just going to retreat into this guy. And I'm going to go for a Duck and Cover. Five, six, seven, eight, plus Poison will knock it out. So, we'll take a Knockout, do an 80, plus Poison will knock it out. And I guess we'll send the Wobbuffet without the Flowstone because he could knock us out this turn. And I kind of want to preserve the Flowstone. So we'll take the 10 damage, going up to 90 HP, knocking out the Drachi. We'll go down to 2 price, or go down to 4 prize cards. We'll take 2. So there's 1 and 2. And we get a Super Rod and a Lysander, okay? And here comes Caldeo. All right, so my opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, like I said, they could play Lysander to get a Wobbuffet. There's a Flowstone. Go into Caldeo EX, okay? Um, what we could do next turn is a Lysander with the Caldeo. Maybe use Mew if we want to. There's a uh, an Evil Talk coming down with Fright Night. I'm not too scared about Fright Night at all. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball. Oh, what, what happened there? What happened there? Uh, discarding a Dark and something else. Okay. And uh, there's a Dark Patch. Let's see where this Dark Energy goes. It goes into the Evil Talk, okay? And we might see a Evil Ball do 20, 40, 60, 80, which is not enough for a knockout just yet. Hoopa's going to come up in the Axe Spot instead. We see a Battle Crusher. And let's see what our opponent decides to discard. Discards a Course in and something else. And we see a Trop Beach for a new hand of 7. All right, so on our turn, what do we get? We get a a, a Muna. So I'm going to Ultra Ball. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Ultra Ball. Discard Muna. And Silver Bangle. Okay, so we discard these two. I'm going to grab a Marshana. Uh, okay, yeah, there's a Marshana. How many? We have no more Flosin left. That's great. So we'll grab a Marshana. We'll put that down. Oh, we don't have a, Oh, man, we can't license it just yet because we don't have... Oh, man, I just realized we don't have a DC on the field. Okay, that's always bad. Uh, so, put a flush on the active. We will super run. Shuffle three combination of Pokemon. Uh, so, we just put, put in the Selgor and, I guess, Muna and Masharna. Okay. So, we'll put those guys in there. We'll put down Mew, and we will be a seeker for a Sycamore. Going to discard a hand. Draw seven new cards. Or Juniper, sorry. I always forget those two, or switch those two around. So, with Juniper, 
discard her hand, draw seven of cards. There's an Acelgar and a DC. So put down Acelgar, and my opponent conceded the game, uh, deciding that they can't win. I guess my opponent realized they can't win next turn. Um, what we could have done if he did have a life standard to bring up somebody, the following turn we could have licensed up the Keldeo. Uh, well, we would have had another DC, so it would have been very interesting to see what would have happened. Of course, I would have deck cover with Mew. I would have done five, hit it for 110. Uh, which is still none of them for knockouts, but that would have left a Hupo, Hupo a ton of damage, and we could have knocked out any moments with our Wob effect, because 5, 6, I think he has 1, does he have uh, 180 or 170? He has 170, so we could have hit it for a 50, uh, plus weakness, 100, plus poison, 10, so bring it up to 110, and at any moment we could have licensed her back into the active and knocked out with a Wob effect, or with an Acelgar if we wanted to. So I think this matchup was pretty easy, especially, I mean, they play the Keldeo, uh, they played, what, the one Lysander and four uh, Via Seekers, but they still have to find that Lysander and chain Via Seekers to get around that, uh, get around Wobbuffet, which is still pretty annoying. So we pretty much would have won the game, regardless. Uh, even tall Fright Night's not too scary, because we do have Wobbuffet, which shuts that down. Uh, so there we go. There's round one of the Wobbuffet to Cellar deck. I know my opponent kind of conceded, but they were going to lose. Like, they literally couldn't do anything. We took a knockout of Drachi. We we're going to do 110 to that Hoopa, and we would have had a Marshana start using, uh, start powering up for sure. Or make sure we probably hit our DCs. Well, we had 28 cards left, 4 DCs in the deck. So I felt pretty confident. But we'll see what happens in the next game. Hopefully our opponent does not concede the game. Alright, your opponent gets Jose, L-I-T-E, playing a Fighting in a College deck. Definitely seems like a Primal Groudon deck. Or, I mean, either way, we probably pretty much have this, like, Fighting. I mean, Fighting does play a lot of switching cards, so that could be maybe uh, annoying. And they could play, like, Pokemon Center Lady and stuff like that. So, that, I don't know. what we'll to see what happens. See what kind of version of Primal Groudon they're playing. But on our turn, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, we do hit for Weakness, which is pretty nice. We got a Shellman's, uh, Level Ball, Computer Search. We get another DC. Uh, we, I mean, we have, we have a, that's a pretty solid turn one. I Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good turn one. Uh, but let's see what our opponent decides to have. We can get down, like, Double Shelmet, uh, maybe a Wobbuffet down, and Tropical Beach for seven new cards. That seems pretty good. All right, so let's see. Oh, we'll play Juniper as well. Like, we have a really good opening hand. All right, so I'm going to put six prize cards out, and there is a Fan Feast. It looks like a Dawn Fan deck. Um, I think we should still be okay regardless. I'm going to Computers just discard one and two, and we will grab... Uh, what? Oh, 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 we'll grab a Wobbuffet. Yeah, that's what I want. We'll grab a Wobbuffet. We'll put that up the active. We'll love ball for a, uh, another Shelmet, okay? So we'll grab another Shelmet. We'll put down Tropical Beach. Put a DC on the active. Put down Shelmet. Uh, we'll go via Sycamore for a Sycamore. Discard our hand. Draw in seven new cards. Now, they a Juniper. So I keep calling Sycamore, but it's a Juniper. Uh, now, the only scary thing about putting it could play Sorosic or Enhanced Hammer. Discard that stuff. Uh, we'll discard a Shelmet. And let's Ultra Ball discard a Lysander and another. No, discard a Shelmet. Uh, so far, that seems fine. And with this, we'll grab a Muna to get maybe the Mushard out next turn. So that's good. So let's grab the Muna and we will uh, Tropical Beach for four new cards. All right, so it's Love Ball. Flows. That's a pretty good hand. Uh, we can put the Flows to a Wild Fit. Love Ball for a Shelmet. Or Selgorb. DC this guy. And, uh, we're pretty good to go. Uh, we can hit Don Fans for weakness as well, but we want to take a knockout. That's the key thing to know. We can knock out a Fan Fee. There's a Roller Skates. Uh, tell us. Good knockout. Take four cards, okay? Wait, is it four or three? Uh, three cards, okay? Uh, Strong Energy going to the active. Robo Sub coming down. And this is not going to be a knockout if he does. It's side with Fan Fee. Right now, it's only doing 40, or 30 damage. Uh, Strong Energy gives a plus 20 damage. So, let's see what's going to happen. What will my opponent do? Do they have a way to retreat into this Robo Sub? If they don't, they're in trouble. Even if they do, we have a uh, a license to bring that guy up. So Karina gonna search for a, a fighting Pokemon and an item card. Now my opponent could opt to get Focus Sash, but that's not gonna save them. It's gonna do 100 damage. The Focus Sash is gonna get it's gonna uh, activate, but then the Poison kicks in and knocks out that Fanfy. So there's a Fanfy and another Robo Sub coming down onto the field. Now the scary thing is we need a. I think I might just hold on. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to hold his hand or not. Uh, Fanfy coming down, Robo Sub hitting the field. And let's see, does our opponent have a way to retreat this Fanfy? Scoop of Cyclone, going to pick up the Fanfy. Wow, so Scoop of Cyclone coming down, picking up that Robo Sub. All right, that's that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty neat. Uh, scoop of Cyclone is kind of like AZ in our Super Scoop Up. It's more like Super Scoop Up, but it's an A spec. Uh, we talked like a Shelmet. So I'm going to Love Ball. Grab a, a Selgor. We'll put a Selgor down on this guy. I mean, like, Wobbuffet doesn't really matter too much, which is the, bat, the downside of this deck. So we're going to license to bring up Fanfy. We will DC a Shelmet, 
and we'll put down the fan fee, and let's just go for a duck and cover. We're going to take a knockout, doing 100 with poison 110, okay? Alrighty, and uh, we'll send a wobble fetch. Uh, we do have a flow stone, but I don't want to put it down just yet, just in case my opponent does play Zerosic. Wait a second. He's weak to water. He is not weak to grass. Oh my goodness, this whole time I thought he was weak to grass, but he is not weak to grass. He is weak to fighting. Okay, that's very annoying. Uh, so, Don Fan coming down. I definitely just wasted a Lysander. Like, that was not a smart play. Uh, strong energy going to the active. Okay. Alrighty, and in. Alright, so this end is going to be fine with me. Alright, so in going to shuffle the hand into deck, and we'll both get six new cards. Alright, so cores. Okay. Uh, Mew. Uh, da -da -da. Rubble sub hit the field. Okay. Uh, right now, Speedy Turn is going to do 60, which is nowhere near a knockout. Uh, we need a top deck. Uh, we need a top deck. Uh, a BS Seeker. All right, that's not a BS Seeker. Okay. So I'm going to flow stone the active. Put down Mew. Or put down a Selgor, sorry. We will free retreat into a Selgor. And we will Shaman set up for two. Hope and hit a BS Seeker, okay? I also what do we get off the shaman for two, one and two, and no, oh, no, we whiffed it. All right, so we'll go for a course. We're gonna get nine cards off this course. So let's see what do we draw into. There's Selgor, DCE, some other stuff, Marshana. So put down this guy. Uh, have we attached this turn? We have not. So put that guy on here. Put down a Marshana, and we'll go for a deck and cover, uh, which doesn't let us take a prize card. So we are knocking out Robus up, and we'll probably just send back up the Wob if at most light. I mean, we could. Six, seven, eight. Mm. No, I think Sid Wapit is probably the better player. All right, so on our opponent's turn, he's probably going to send the Don Fan spinning turn for the knockout. But next time we can't knock out, we can't knock it out directly. Uh, we can be a secret for Lysine to bring up the Don Fan, and they'll get knocked out coming back into our turn, which is really nice. So there's a strong energy going on. Fan fee, okay. A muscle man going onto the bench, Fanfi as well. Okay, and this is Fanfi turn four, 60 damage. Going to send up a Robo Sub, so my opponent will go down to five prize cards. Man, that weakness I thought was happening. Was really bad of me. And we didn't use full one either last turn. That's pretty silly of me. Alright, so let's see what happens. On to our turn, we get a Wobble Fit. So we'll put that down. With, yeah, we'll put that Wobble Fit. That seems fine. We'll Via Seeker for a Lysander. We will Lysander up the Fanfy. Um, let's use four. Do we use four one now? Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh, no, let's Shame set up for two. Okay. I never put a bunch of Shamans down, but it'll be okay. Uh, Shamans set up for two. One, two. There's a Flow Stone via Seeker. Let's use Full Warn. Look at the top two cards of our deck. We'll grab the DCE for next turn, okay? And we will go for a deck and cover. It'll do 50, 60, and then come back in our turn. That Fanfy, Don Fan will get knocked out, which is really nice. So let's set up the Wob Fit. Go, go, Wob Fit. Uh, take that 10 damage from Poison, and back to our turn. It will get knocked out unless our opponent plays a Switch. Or an escape rope, or an AZ, or Pokemon Sunlady. Uh, I think that's all of them. Cassius. Uh, there's a fighting statement coming down, which we really don't care about too much. A uh, strong energy going to that guy, okay. And a core is going to show up for the hand deck and get nine, no, eight cards. One, two, three, four. No, seven. What I'm talking about. Uh, four mice, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Robo sub hitting the field. And the question is, what do we top deck? What do we get off this? So a Carby coming down. That's very interesting. Now this guy is weak to grass, which is great. So Poison will, hit, will knock out that Dawn fan. Uh, we'll go down to five prize cards, okay? So we'll go to five prize cards. We get a Marshana, which is pretty much useless right now. We'll probably see a Robo Sub coming to the act. No, Carby. Okay, uh, that's very strange. Uh, so Silver Ring coming down. Um, we can knock out the Carby this turn with the Selgar. So we'll put a DC on this guy. Well, Silver Wrangle... Lodestone, and we will be a secret for colors. Uh, we'll put a tropical beach down as well. We're gonna be a secret for colors and get nine cards off this car. Hopefully, we can find a uh, a way to get a uh, what is it? A shelmet, a silver out. Wait, how many via seekers have we played? We played three via seekers. Oh man, that could be really bad. Uh, there's a shelmet. Okay, let's put down shelmet. We'll put down a selgor. Um. We will forewarn, look at top two cards of our deck. We have a Via Seeker for next turn. We'll grab a Juniper, sure. And uh, we will deck and cover, okay? So let's retreat into the uh, Selgor. We'll deck and cover. Oh, the problem here is he could knock out our only uh, Shelmet, and we don't have an attacker the following turn. That could be really scary. Uh, so do 100 damage, poison, knock it out. Or, I mean, it gets knocked out regardless. I don't know what I'm talking about. So we'll go down to four price cards. Um, we're going to send the Wobbuffet, okay? So Flowstone. Go go Wobbuffet, and we'll probably see the Fanfic come up to the Axe spot. 
The question is, does my opponent play a way to counter our uh, Selgors or not? They don't. They're looking okay, because next turn we can get a Selgor out and uh, use Mew to deck and cover instead of using a Selgor. Or show it. Uh, Selgor, sorry. So Flowstone going to Fanfy. We see a Shebe coming out. Going to set up for two new guards. I mean, this is our last Via Seeker, right? Yeah, man. Oh, that's the only downside is it is our last DCE. Our last, uh, wait, he just put down a Shaman. And there's a Wobbuff in the X spot. Alright, so we see a Lysander. Gonna bring it with Shelmets, okay? Uh, Tackle is gonna knock it out. So Tackle, yep, gonna do 70. And that's what I was scared of. That's what I was just talking about. So, gonna knock us out. Going down to 4. We'll send the Wobbuff And on our turn, hopefully we top deck a Shelmets. Oh, man, we top deck on a Selgor. Oh, man. So we're going to Ultra Ball, uh, discard Zorosic and Juniper. And with this, we're going to Shelmet. All right, so grab a Shelmet. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Sky Return, I think, uh, to pick up our Shelmets. Let's full warn. Look at top two cards of our deck. We'll grab a Shelmet. There we go. So that way, cannot. we'll have a Shelmet for next turn no matter what. So we'll grab a Shelmet, put that down. We will retreat into Shebe. And we'll Sky Return for 30. That way you get one more bench spot and we can still uh, do some damage. Yeah, so some damage, 50. Uh, we can knock out this guy next to with a Cell Guard if we want to. Uh, if we do, I might just tap a Muse so that way one time. Uh, I think we attack a Muse next turn is probably the smart play regardless. So under opponent's turn, let's see what happens. They did use a Lysander last turn. There's a Core, so they're going to get 9 cards off this Core. Now they can spin a turn for 4, 6, 8, 10, which is not a knockout. But then we have Via Seeker for Lysander, bring up that fan fee, and we'll go down to three prize cards. The question is, how do we take our last three? Those Robosubs are very annoying. Max looks are going to look at the top six cards of their deck. Attach the basic energy from there onto one of the Pokemon. Goes onto the fan fee, okay? And will the fan fee stay active or not? If it does, we can take a knockout this turn, which is really, really great. And yeah, we're just going to see a tackle. I'm actually A-OK -okay with this. So 70 damage onto our turn. What we're going to do is we're going to put down a Cell Glor, uh, put down Mew. We will forewarn, look at top two cards of our deck. We'll grab a DC, put that in our hand, which is really great. Okay. And we will go for a uh, deck and cover. Yeah, so we'll treat into Mew. And we'll use deck and cover for the knockout, do 50 damage. And we'll take one more prize card going down to three, which is really, really great. So let's go down to three prize cards. Okay. All right, so we're looking good now. We knocked out some fan fees. We knocked out some carvings. Uh, if my opponent puts down a Dawn Fan, I'm automatically going to license that guy up. Let's send up the Wub Fan. I know if he attacks this turn, it does get knocked out. Uh, but I'm actually, it's whatever. So Fan Fee coming up. Does he finally have a Dawn Fan? He does have a Flowstone to give it free trade if he wants to. Uh, but as soon as that Dawn Fan comes down, we are licensing her up. And it's going to be stuck in the axe spot. Carving coming down the field one more time. Uh, what's, remember, that guy does have weakness, which is great for us. Karina. Gonna search deck for a fighting Pokemon and a item card. The question is, how many Dawn fans he's played? Just one Dawn fan. He hasn't really hit anything else besides that one. But there's a Dawn fan and a Hypnotoxic Laser. But the Hypnotoxic Laser, I don't think is needed. I think Spinny Turn already knocks it out, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, Spinny Turn does 40, okay? So, we'll see a uh, Spinny Turn, okay? It will <clears throat> not, it will knock us out. It will go down to three price cards. But then we can life set up his Dawn fan. And it'd be, it's going to be weird now, because we, we don't have any more BS Seekers, but I think we're still going to be okay. I think, maybe. We'll have to see how it plays out. This is a very interesting matchup, for sure. As soon as this is the carving, we can knock it out almost immediately, which is great. Uh, the only problem is, if he spinning turns with those Dawn fans, we can't do anything about it, because he'll just keep his spinning turn into the bench. But as soon as he promotes a Robo Sub, I'm just going to Sky Return with Shaman, so that way our, our, our Shell Wars don't get knocked out or anything like that, which is what we need to keep. Uh, fighting is going to the active. It looks like he is going to try to power up to do a, uh, what is that, a, a wreck? Yeah, a wreck would knock us out, but there's a knockout. Going to send a Robo Sub. My opponent will go down to 30 prize cards. And once again, the question is, does my opponent play a way to get a this Pokemon out of the Axe spot? So in our turn, we get a DCE. We're going to use Forward. Look at top two cards of our deck. We'll grab a Love Ball, which is great. And with the Love Ball, we're going to grab another Shelmet. We don't want to put down a... Uh, yeah, we don't want to put down a Cell... Like, we could grab a Cell Guard, but that's really bad. Uh, we want to have another attacker for the next turn. Guaranteed it with the Shelmet. Uh, so put a DC on this guy. Well, that's almost misplay. Uh, we'll be a Seeker for Lysander. We'll bring up that Dawn Fan. Okay, come to me, Dawn Fan. And remember, this is our last DC, our last uh, be a Seeker as well. And I'm going to... I want to deck and cover, but I'm not sure who I want to send up. Uh, I want to deck and cover to a Shelmet. I'm finally let our Shelmets get knocked out, but I don't want our Mosharna to get knocked out because it's really, it really is important to us. 
So we're going to put down the deck, set up Shell Mitts, and we'll see what happens. Once again, does our opponent have a way to retreat this Donovan or not? If they don't, we're looking a okay. So my opponent's going to draw a, prior, draw a card, and if they don't have a way to retreat this Donovan, we're looking good. So Hypnotoxic Laser, I'm not too worried about this. Heads, well, if we get a somewhere out, that poison does not matter anymore. Neither does a sleep, which is really nice. And let's see what's going to happen. What will our opponent do? They're looking really bad. Uh, but still, it's anybody's game. I know it's weird to say that, but we are 3-3 on prize cards. There's a fighting sheet going out of carving, and we'll see pass for our opponent. Let's take a 10 damage poison. We take 10 damage poison as well. We do not... Oh, uh, we... He, uh, wait, we stay asleep. All right, so on our turn, we get an AZ. So I'm going to DC the active, uh, put a silver ring on this guy, floatstone this guy, and I'm going to Juniper discard our hand, draw in seven new cards, and let's see what do we get off the Juniper. All right, so there's a Selgor going to the active. We can put down a Shelmet. We can love ball for a, another Selgor. Alrighty, so Selgor coming to our hand. We'll put that down on this guy. And I guess we'll go for a deck. Oh, we'll go for a 4 1 first. Let's go for 4 1. Uh, we'll grab the Selgor for next turn. Okay. And we will deck and cover for the knockout. And I guess we're going to send him Marshana. I'm going to let Marshana. I think, oh, man. Corby can't knock us out, so I'm going to send up the Selgor. I think that's the better play. So, yeah, we're going to send up the Selgor. That Donphan gets knocked out through Poison, okay? We'll go down to two prize cards. Alrighty, so we get a in, alright? I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. We, we're not really going to deck out as long as we keep using deck and cover. So, on opponent's turn, they send up the Garbing, okay? Um, We can knock it out pretty easily with the Selgor, like I said. Strong Engine going to the active. Hold on, hold on. Four, five, six. Uh, if he has another laser, that could be bad. I mean, if he has a laser, yeah, a laser could be really bad for us if he does get that on the field. Have we played a super rod? We have not played a super rod either, so we're looking okay. Uh, so strong as you're going to the active, we can see a power gem doing 60. Um, but I'm not too concerned about that as long as he's not powering up his Dawn fans. There's a lightsaber. Go to bring him a shellman. He will take a knockout on our shellmans, but I'm not really concerned about this. He'll go down to two price guards, taking 60 damage. Alrighty. And I'm going to send up the uh, Selgor. We know. Oh, yeah, we don't have the DC. I thought we did. Nope. Okay, there it is. Yeah, there's the DC. We do. Uh, I think we top deck that. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to Ultra Ball discard one and two. With this, we'll grab a Shelmet. All right, Super Rod here. Super Rod's in the deck as well. So grab a, a Shelmet. We'll put that down, and we are going to. Uh, we're going to Coerce. We could play in, but I'm going to play Coerce. We need some more Shelmets. We need that Super Rod is what we really need. And there's a Super Rod. And with the Super Rod, we're going to shuffle in 1, 2. And then as Selgor, we really don't need anybody else. Alrighty. Uh, we'll full warn. Look at the top two cards of our deck. We're looking for another one. Okay, we'll grab a DC. Sure, that seems great. Wait, we already have a DC in our hand. What am I doing? Uh, we'll just deck and cover. 450 plus the weakness is 100 damage. Alright, we'll send up the Mashana. Go, go, Mashana. Alrighty. So we'll go down to one price card. Let's go, Mashana. Now it's going to become a game of, like, Donphan spending turn to robo subs Because we don't have, like I said, we don't have any more Pokemon or any more Lysanders. So let's go Masharna. I'll turn opponent's turn. Uh, going to send a robo sub. We can uh, Sky Return to knock that out. How many robo subs has he played? He's played one robo sub. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, teammates going to get any two cards out of their deck. Probably going to grab a Donphan and something else. Uh, but next turn, like I said, we can Sky Return. How many strong energies has he played? That's another different thing as well to worry about. Four strong energies are gone. Okay, that's perfect. The only thing that's scary is the Hypno Toxic Laser. That's something we will have to worry about. Uh, but let's see, what does our opponent get with teammates? Does he have any more Dawn fans? He's played a 3-2 already. Uh, he needs a Super Rod maybe to get those Fampies back in the deck if he does. If he has one prized. If he does play Super Rod, he might not play Super Rod. If he doesn't, then we're pretty much going to win the game. But two cards coming to his hand with the teammates. And let's see, what will our opponent do? There's a Ground, a Groudon coming down. Okay, all right. And there's a Groudon Spearling going to the Groudon. Okay. Interesting. Uh, fighting doing that guy, okay. And we'll see a pass onto our turn. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a, a Shelmet. Or Selgor, sorry. I'm going to uh, Ultra Ball, discard a Mosharna and a Tropical Beach. And with this, I'm going to grab a Shelmet. All right, so let's grab a Shelmet. Put that down on the field. We will full warn, look at top two cards of our deck. We'll grab a uh, DCE shirt. All right, so grab a DCE. We'll put a DC on this guy, and we're going to end our opponent down to two cards while we get one. But then we have a Shaman we can use it anytime we want to. So we'll end, get one card. There's a DC. I guess we could have four more now. I don't know why I didn't 
I don't know why I did it right now. I don't know why I did it like that. But we'll treat it to Shaman. We'll Sky Return to uh, knock out that Robo Sub. All right. We don't take a prize card, but we did probably put it down to two cards, which is great. So let's go Masharna. Only to our opponent is going to probably going to send a Robo Sub. But now we can just constantly Sky Return our Shamans. And hopefully by the time he gets his Groudon powered up, we have enough of Selgars to retaliate and ready to go to knock out that Primal Groudon. All right. So let's see what happens. There's energy going out of Groudon. Okay. And a Trunk. Oh, I forget. We have Trunk Beach out play. All right, so on our turn, we get a Shelmet. We'll put that down the field. We'll put down Shaman's setup. Okay, so we'll draw some new cards. Okay. And uh, how many Ants have we played? Okay, there's another ant, another Sogar, which is great. We'll put that down the field. We'll put down a Shelmet. We'll play Tool Scrapper, getting rid of that Groudon Spearlink. Yep. Um, we'll DC a Shaman. Forewarn. We're going to have a Silver Ring. Okay. And we are going to uh, Sky Return to knock out that Robo Sub one more time. And now since we got rid of that uh, so that uh, Spear Link, my opponent can't evolve without ending his turn. Or he does end his turn if he does do that. So let's hit a Masharna. Okay. And we're looking great. Like, I think we're okay to go. The only thing I'm my concern if he gets four energies on this Groudon, he get massive red and then Meg a Prime Evolve to then knock out a Sogor. So that'd be interesting to see what's going to happen. Uh, there's an energy going out of Primal Groudon. He, oh, he doesn't have enough yet. He needs a Max Lynx this turn to actually attack with the Groudon. Uh, there's a Professor Burst's Observation. All right, I'll out. Uh, Tails only get four cards, but he can use Tropical Beach. But after this, he really can't do much. Like, he can't do anything else, really. Uh, he can sit up Shaman. There's a Primal Grotto coming down. I'm actually, okay, that looks great. Now I think we're going to win the game. All right, so Silver Ring, okay. So put down a, a Selgor. We will put down Shaman. All right, we'll set up for two. I think we'll put down all of our Silver Wrangles, so that way our opponent ends us, we're good to go. So we'll put down Silver Wrangle, we'll put down Silver Wrangle, we'll put a DC on Shebe, and we'll go for a setup. Or we'll go for a Sky Return, okay? And one of my Sky Return is to a, a Sub War without a Silver Wrangle, and this way you have our Marshawn in just case our opponent does end us. So let's go Sub War, okay? Oh no, opponent's turn, they're going to send this Primal Ground on. They're going to take a knockout this turn if they have a Fighting Energy, but once again, the question becomes, does our opponent have a way to retreat? Or to basically get rid of that condition off Primal Groudon. We've already played all of our ends, so we can't enter opponent down to low hand size. There's a full stone going out of Groudon. Okay, I don't I don't care about that. Uh, does he have an energy or not? It's my big question. Um, if he ends us, we have Marsharna, we can draw a guard, Marsharna. We should be we should be okay. We have plenty of DCEs. There's a press burst observation and heads gonna get seven cards off that burge. Now the question once it begin becomes does opponent have an energy? That's the first question. There's a DC going out of that guy. Now, the bigger question, does my opponent... Oh, what does this guy do? Uh, has no resistance. Okay. So, there's a guy on Volcano. Going to do 200 damage. Uh, get rid of that Magnetic Storm. And it's going to come down to the opponent have a way to switch out of this Primal Groudon. So, on our turn, let's see what's going to happen. We get a Mew. We'll put a DC on the active. We'll use Full Warn. Look at the top two guards of our deck. I doesn't really matter. We're grabbing a Selgor. Okay. We'll put down a Silgor, and we will deck and cover. Oh, no, the game's freezing. No, game, don't do this. Don't do this, game. We're all wondering what's going to happen. Don't don't freeze on me, buddy. All right, so the Silgor coming down the field. We'll go for deck and cover. All right, hitting for 160 damage. We'll send up in a Silgor. Once again, now it becomes, does my opponent have a way to heal this Groudon? A switch, escape rope, uh, eight, not an AZ. He needs, like, Pokemon Sinuity. Oh, man, time to see what's going to happen. One card, price card left for both of us. Who's going to win this game? There's a Professor versus Observation. He must have something if he's digging ahead. So I'm going to seven cards. All right, let's see. Does he have a way to get this card out of the active spot and take the game or not? That is a big question. Uh, he own, oh, fighting is your own to Bay. But no, he's just going to pass, and on to our turn, we have a DC. We will win this game against his Don Fan deck. Oh my goodness, that was so scary. So put a DC in the active, use deck and cover, doing another 160 damage, going to send him to Selgor. I think we just take two prize cards automatically. I don't think we send up anybody, right? I don't know how... Okay, so he gets knocked out. We get we take our prize card. There we go. I guess we send up a Selgor, sure. We got to win the game, and there's a victory screen. We beat the Don Fan deck. Like, I was so scared. We had no life centers left, no more VS Seekers or anything. That was a very hard matchup, but I think we played it out pretty well. I think I did a good job, but maybe. I don't, I don't know. I probably messed up. People were like, Squeaky, you should have did this. But, man, we won that game. That was a pretty good game. One-to-one -one on price cards.
All right, and uh, there we go. All right, I'm very excited. So let's look at our opponent's deck. Do they play a switch card? But are they play the scoop of cycle on one laser. And no, all they play is a float stone. So no AZ, no switch, no escape rope. And that's how you win games sometimes. Sometimes your opponent just doesn't have anything to uh, get rid of that, or get rid of a Pokemon with poison. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Expanded Thursday. Hopefully you enjoyed this Selgor Wobbuffet deck. Once again, people have requested this, and I think it was a perfect time to do it. Uh, it was a lot of fun playing this. If you do like playing Expanded, make sure you check the deck out. I think it was a lot of fun. But thanks for watching. Have a great Thursday. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.